and uh, today I bring a video with a new topic that is the property of triangles. This is entirely a new topic and uh, today we shall discuss on it. So I hope you all are like my previous video and uh, I think that uh, you get all things very easily. So let's start new topic with the hope that you will also understand this topic very clearly and easily and uh, then let's see what is the property of the triangle. First of all, we should know about the triangle because without knowledge of any object we can't describe its properties. So we need to know about triangle. So let us see what is the triangle. In your last chapter, in your last class, you have already studied about what is the triangle, but you only know about its definition, but uh, you did not know about its element. This element means constitutional property that is by which it has form. So let us see the element of a triangle. So here we can discuss about triangle. The word triangle has derived from two words tri and angles. As you know the meaning of tri is three. The meaning of tri is three and we already know about the angle. So we can say that triangle is a figure which in which there are three angles. And the three angles will form so then two sides will meet at a point. Then the point is called vertex and the angle is formed at that point. So a triangle is a figure which has three angles, which is formed three angles. Okay, so this is the triangle. And uh, today we have to know about elements elements of triangle. Elements of triangle. Elements of triangle means triangle ke tatto. Means kin kin chizo single ke triangle panta hai. As you know that water, water is a compound and the element by which water form are hydrogen and oxygen. In the same way, triangle, you can say that triangle is also a compound which is formed by various elements. So element is a pure substance by when two or more elements get together form the compound. Similarly, a triangle has also its elements. So let us see what are its elements. As we know that this figure is known as triangle. This figure is known as triangle. And in this figure, we can see that it has three line segments by which the triangle is formed. The figure has three sides AB, BC, and AC. So that the triangle has three line segments by which it is formed. So its first element is three line segment. So its first element is three line segment and we write a triangle is formed by three line segment. So its elements are first three line segments by which it is formed. And when three line segment are joined in this manner, then there are also few, few elements are generated that is the first is angle. Angle is also generated because when two rays meet at a point then the point is called vortex so that there are also three vortices. So the second point is that it has 
vertices and the next one is angles so many of the students has know that a triangle has only three elements that is the nine segment vertices and angle but no it has also its two like uh, integers and the fifth is exterior because when a close figure form then it divide up the into two parts the one part which is outside of the close figure is called its exterior field and the area which is inside the close figure is called its interior so the, when a close figure form it divide up the into two parts that is exterior and interior and they are listed here so i think that these are its element and the line segment is that line segment to bc and ac and the vertices are a b and c and the angles are angle b a c angle a b c and angle a c b it has three angles also and this is your its interior so give this name by x so it is the interior x and exterior is y so these are its exterior as we know that we can represent the angle in many types like uh, one letter like this angle a angle b and angle c similarly often sometime the side are also represented by the small letter or in this alphabet like if we say that this is the line segment a b then we represent this by the small letter a and this line segment is represented by b and this line segment is represented by c so in this case we can say that the line segments are a b and c so these are its line segment also can be represented by the small letter of the english alphabet as i written here so these are its element which is uh, by which the triangle is formed so i think there is no doubt in the element of the triangle so these are its element now let us see what is its exterior and interior so as we can see in the figure that the figure divide the plane into two parts so one part which is lie outside of the triangle and the other part which is lie inside the triangle so the side so, so the reason which is lie outside the triangle is known as its exterior and the reason which is lie inside the triangle is called its interior and also those point which are also lies outside of the triangle is called exterior point and the point which are lie inside the triangle is known as interior point so if we give some point here that is p q r s t then we can see that say that its interior r p q and the exterior r r s t because here we can see that the exterior point r s t which are lies outside of the triangle so they are the exterior point and the point which is lie inside the triangle that is p and q and therefore p and q are its interior point so that these are its interior and exterior similarly as we denote the point as interior and exterior we can also define the line interior line and exterior line similarly we can say that if a line which is lie inside the triangle is called interior line and the line which lie outside the exterior of the triangle is known as the exterior line and if a line which passes through any vertex of this triangle then we can say that the line is on the triangle line which if we denote then by Here in the figure we can see that there are three lines are given which are like this one line is in the triangle that is this is the interior point, interior line, 
this line which passes through its vertex so that it is on the triangle and this is completely out of, of the triangle so it is known as the exterior line so these are the interior and exterior of the triangle and now let us see the types of triangle okay then let us see the types of triangle let us see what is the types of triangle as we categorize the triangle generally in three part we say that as you have studied in your previous classes and you say that equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, scalar triangle. Uh, the triangle is categorized on the two ways. That is the first. The triangle is categorized first on the basis of on the basis of its side. The first is the triangle is first categorized is on the basis of its side and in the second way it is categorized on the basis of angle because we categorize the triangle into two ways in first is on the its is based on its side and second is based on its angle because in both condition the triangle has their own property if we categorize the triangle on the basis of their side they have some other properties and if we categorize the triangle on the basis of their angle then their properties are different and their now name will also different because when we categorize the triangle on the basis of their side then their name will also given on the same way that is if the all side are equal then we can see that it will travel and if two side are equal then they are known as isosceles if three sides are equal, then they are known as scalar triangle. So here, in this case, we see that there is no word used as angle. But when we categorize the triangle on the basis of angle, then in each case, we can see the word used as an angle in the name of the triangle. Because when we did categorize the triangle on the basis of their angle, then we use the definition of angle also. Therefore, their name will depend on the angle. Okay? So let us see what are the subcategories of the triangle. So first we shall discuss the categories of the triangle on the basis of their side. So further, the triangle on the basis of its side is divided into three parts. The first is known as equilateral triangle. The second isosceles triangle. And the third is known as the scaling plan. Sometimes equilateral triangle is also known as equiangular angle. Sometimes equilateral triangle is known as equiangular triangle. Why is it so? I will tell you later. First, now let us define these on the one by one. Before give the definition of this, let us see what is the category of the triangle when it categorizes on the basis of its angle. So they are the first name is acute 
एंगल्ड ट्रायंगल द सेकंड इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल एंड थर्ड इज ऑक्यूज एंगल ट्रायंगल सो देयर आर आल्सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रायंगल व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन acute which is based on their angle and uh, these are given here so i hope if you know about the definition of angle they can then you can easily find out the name or uh, you can also define such type of triangle so now let us define these types of triangle on the basis of their property so here you can say that the triangle also divides on the basis of its of its side and its angle because its side and its angle also has their own property so now let us see the first is equilateral trend the meaning of equilateral is obvious that equi means equal literal used for side so we can say that a triangle in which all side of the triangle are of equal length is known as equilateral triangle a triangle in which all side of the triangle are equal then it is known as equilateral triangle and we can see in the figure then we will find that why we say like this in this figure we have a triangle abc and if we measure the length of this triangle then we find that its all side has the same length that is this and we can write that line segment ab is equal to line segment bc and c is equal to line segment ac and as i told you before that sometimes the sides can also be represented by the small letter of english alphabet so if we denote this line segment ab by the small letter a and this by b and this is c then in this case we get a is equal to b is equal to c where a b and c are stand for the sides of the triangle and in this way we can say that this is the equilateral triangle because in this figure we can see that all its side are of equal length therefore it is the equilateral triangle and why it is is it known as equiangular triangle i will explain this later because equiangular triangle equiangular triangle has the another property and you can say that start the relation between we define the relation of side and angle then we can define equiangular angle triangle easily so i hope there is no doubt in this problem similarly let us divide define isosceles triangle what is the meaning of isosceles triangle so let us see the second is isosceles triangle the isosceles triangle means a triangle in which two sides are equal a triangle in which two sides are equal then it is known as isosceles triangle okay here if we draw a figure like this this is a triangle abc 
and if we measure the length of this triangle then we find that AB is equal to BC but this is not equal to line segment sorry AB is equal to AC and this is not equal to BC ok so here we can see that here two sides are equal but third side is not equal to any other side so it is known as isosceles triangle and if we denote this by the small letter of English alphabet then in this case we get that A is equal to C and it is does not equal to B so here we can see that it is the isosceles triangle I hope what is the isosceles triangle is clear to all and the other part of this we shall discuss in our next video so I hope you are all enjoyed this video because uh, in this video you already have the idea about the triangle so I don't think that you have any doubt or any confusion in this video if you have any doubt then you can just uh, comment in the comment section I will clear your doubt in my next video so thank you very much for watching this video